Hi guys, I'm Atalavi from the site Tathaga.com and I'm recording Crusader Kings 2 um, my Ireland walkthrough which is rather a cheat through and this is the fourth part of it right so we have a retinue paint we'll get a bigger one once we liberate the entire the entirety of entirety of Ireland it's under my control So I would have liked this guy to have given birth to more kids. Oh, this is a very common event. Basically what happens is the orthodox faith gets replaced by the iconoclastic faith. And it supplants them. So if you look here, I'll show you. The religion here has changed. Even though in reality, orthodoxy really survived and went and expanded to Russia as well. Anyway, fun things happen. That's the good thing about Crusader Kings 2. You can have a completely different result um, rather than one that's based in history. I think the game that offers that the most at the moment is Hearts of Iron 4. You can have a democratic Germany or a Nazi United States or even a communist France. You should check that out. We have one of our. We've done the tutorial for Hearts of Iron and it's placed on the site. Sorry, on the YouTube channel for our site. Come on, fabricate a claim fast. We, need, we want this territory. Right. Right, let's get married. So I would have liked to have more security, I guess. By that, I mean I'd like I'd like to have this guy have more kids so that my line was secure. Right now if this guy dies, there's my half brother, but what if he dies too? With the reapers due, it's really uncertain what would happen next.
So things are dicey at the start, usually with that expansion. Come on, fabricate a claim. This is the problem. It's not certain that you're going to be able to fabricate a claim. Are you? And it's not clear either if, when you're going to fabricate that claim. I like the system better in Europa Universalis. At least you knew when this would happen, when the fabricate claim option would end. The thing is, I don't want to become his liege. I want that territory for myself. I already have three vassals for four counties. I should have some control over the region. And that will help me build larger armies as well. So if you didn't check out our first video where we explained how we would cheat and why we would cheat, you can look at these things over here, piety, prestige and cash. We've had them increased through cheats. I think I can change the laws as well. Right, let me do something. It's still a Regency, I can't do it. I wanted to change some of these. So if you check out the older versions of Crusader Kings and the early expansions, this menu wasn't there or it looked completely different. It was more of something in here. Come on, fabricate a claim, we're waiting.
So the Pictish king apologized to us. Well, we, I'd like to play as the Picts. Alright, there are some specific um, things we can do as a kingdom, as a, an Irish kingdom. Like hold a fair or hold a feast. I think we'll do that soon. We're going to hold a feast. Right, let's get till November and we're going to hold a feast. Right, we can give him a focus. Um, he could do well with stewardship. Usually these events are the same. Some people aren't going to come. Well, everyone came to the feast. I'd like to take some of these lands from my vassals. Right, everyone's Catholic here. And let's see the cultures. Oh, so we're of another religion. Wait, is it a culture or religion? I don't know what this means. So this kingdom is Cathar. And these guys... Atisali. Practically, I don't know. It's very old heresy. So that's the thing, we've got nothing to do now, except wait for this claim to be fabricated. Or maybe I could declare war on these guys. They're from a different religion, right? Right, since they're heretics, you can declare war on them. But are there other heretics around? Yes, there are, by the way. They could join the war. I don't really want to risk it, but 
we've got a huge army. We can, we can just hire mercenaries for everything. These guys could join. I don't want them to join. But we have more Catholic factions around that can help us. If it doesn't go our way, well. These guys are real smart. They avoid your army. This was a bad thing. This is a bad thing to happen right now. We need our marshal. The vassals have no army at all. Right, what we'll do is I am more mercenaries just in case things get hairy. And we cheat for cash. is going well though. This should bring it to 100% or oh, not yet because these guys have joined too. Right, you guys stay here, you guys get there. as well. Right, once we occupy this, I think we've won. Right, we've won the war. And we're glad we took the risk.
but the only thing is to convert these people. Now I've tried this before, um, but converting people is not easy in in Crusader Kings 2. Right, that was a good war. We just wish we could capture this as well. We definitely expanded. I don't want this bishop prick in my control. Let's see what we can do about that. So we've got two bishop pricks. This time will invite a holy man. So we need to see, we need to check out our positions in the council. Right, we have a better steward here, and he can concentrate here. Spy master, we've got a good one already, but maybe we could steal technology from someone. We'll do that. Right, in about 5 minutes we are going to stop. I think this video has gone for a long while. I hope this guy doesn't die of disease. Like that's going to be horrible. I think he should get married. In case something goes wrong. Right, we can hire a commander. And there are better commanders than him. We'll leave it for now. What did this guy do? Right, we just hired a commander and we lost him. So who did we marry? A Khazar? What culture is this from? Okay, Mongol. 
Nice. Mongol invasions are going to happen in I think 500 years from now. But another good part of this game is you can go away from history. I mentioned this, but you can venture away from history because the Aztecs couldn't invade. And instead of the Spanish invading the Aztecs, the Aztecs come here and ravage us and right here in the West. So you're not safe at this location either. Even though you might be safe from the Mongols, you will not safe from the Aztecs who bring diseases and huge stacks of armies. Right, it's time to stop. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm going to stop in December. It's going up now. And he should get married too. Right, we're going to decide that later on in our next play tool. So this was the fourth part of uh, Crusader Kings 2 and like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We provided our site link and our links to Twitter, Instagram and Facebook in the description below. Thank you for watching. This is Atalavi from Atalga.com and goodbye.